Hello and welcome to this quick demo on using ANSYS Discovery early in the concept design stage to look at the aerodynamics of a Hyperloop pod. This video will demonstrate the ease of use and speed of Discovery. A simplified model set up with standard air will be used that ignores the vacuum and complex aerodynamic effects for the purposes of this quick demo. I will show how to set up a drag force monitor and demonstrate the speed of performing design iterations to reduce drag as well as go over a few tools to help visualize the flow. I will begin by specifying the inlet and outlet conditions of the fluid domain by going up to the fluid flow at the top and selecting the face for the inlet, specifying the, velo the velocity, here we'll use 100 meters per second, and then I'll go ahead and specify the outlet similar to the inlet, and we'll just use a pressure of zero pascals. And then we will change the fluid to a gas and specify air. And we'll leave those as the default properties for this demo. Next, I will insert a custom monitor for the drag force by clicking on the monitor's drop down at the top, selecting custom, and then choosing the force variable. I will want to select the faces of the Hyperloop pod as shown in the name selection. As you can see, the no-slip wall default was automatically created on all faces after specifying the inlet and outlet. To select the pod faces, I will hide all the other faces and then use the box select tool by dragging. Once I have those faces selected, I'll go ahead and click the green check mark. And there we see the force monitor plot shows up and I can go up and rename it by right clicking and selecting rename at the top right. Next, I'll go ahead and click Solve. The model instantly begins solving and plotting contour results of velocity. At the bottom right, different result options are available, such as streamlines. Once the model is solved, the drag force value shows up in our force monitor. Different options are available to control the streamline plot. By reducing the tail length and choosing the pulse option, the streamlines can be visualized in bursts flowing through the model. By clicking on advanced selection in the bottom right, I can view the different parameters controlling my model under the driving dimensions. Here I'm going to select the height and change that value as the next design iteration. Then I'll go ahead and click solve and we'll be able to see results again, similar to last time. Once the solve is completed, we see another value in our force monitor for the drag force. Again, we can visualize the streamlines, similar to how I mentioned before, using the pulse method. We can also look at contour results of the velocity and specify a cut plane. Next, I'll go ahead and change another driving dimension for my geometry. I'll choose the rear fillet and we'll increase that at the back. After that's done, we'll just click solve as done before. Once again, after that solves, we see a new value in our force monitor and we can visualize the flow using the streamlines. The cut plane can be moved and used to visualize the velocity contour results throughout the model. The contour plot result can be changed to view different results of interest such as total pressure. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.